Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you the path to literary mastery and teach you how you can become the hero of your own story. Let's get into it. Knowing the path to mastery. There are four stages of learning on the path to mastery, and this is true of anything, not only the craft of writing. The first stage is unconscious incompetence. This is where you're doing something wrong, but you don't know you're doing something wrong. You're oblivious. The second stage is conscious incompetence. This is where you become aware of your wrongdoing, but you don't know how to change it. You begin your journey of learning to overcome ignorance and embrace mastery. The third stage is conscious competence. This is where you begin to practice what you've learned. No one likes this part. It's what makes us feel fake. Like we're the man behind the curtain in The Wizard of Oz, waiting to be exposed for our fraud at a moment's notice. But rest assured, we are learning, despite how deceptive and unqualified we may feel. The final stage is unconscious competence. This is where our hard work finally pays dividends. Writers at this stage will notice that their writing just seems to flow. You decide where you want to go, and you go there. If asked how you got there, you may need to stop and think because you never put much thought into it in the first place. Have you ever started your car and drove somewhere you've been a thousand times before? Can you remember pulling into your destination only to realize you can't remember the drive? You recall the strange and eerie feeling when you realize you've made the entire drive on autopilot. That is the holy grail of the process. The good news is that you can get there because you've already been there. It was in those moments when writing seemed to flow like water. Inspiration perfumed the air and the words tumbled onto the page effortlessly. You were there before and you can live there permanently. The bad news is that you need to pass through stages 2 and 3 to get there. The worst news is that in a real sense, this is where you need to live as a writer. This is where you'll spend most of your time. Before we continue, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ding the bell so YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the description of this video for book recommendations, as well as all the tools and resources I use in my writing and video production. Back to the video. Consider your home. Most of your time isn't spent at home, is it? For 8 hours a day, you're at work. Even more once you consider travel time, and some of you work more than 8 hours a day. Some of you work 10, 12, even 14 hours a day, sometimes on weekends. You have other commitments as well. Church, volunteering, friends, yard work. Even unproductive sleep prevents you from actually living in your home. But why do we do this? We do this, spending so much time away from the home and people we love, to support the home and people we love. And so it is with your writing. Stages 2 and 3 of the learning cycle are the fertile hunting grounds where you find the meat to sustain your life in stage 4. It's not always pretty, and it's not always comfortable, but it's always necessary. You'll uncover things about yourself that you wished remained hidden. Ignorance is bliss, as they say, but you need to learn to live in the uncomfortable middle. You need to get comfortable with the discomfort of learning, and over time, you may learn to love it. Even as a hunter who relies on the woods for his life, learns to love the wood in which he hunts. The point I'm trying to make, and the thing to take away from this entire video, is that you need to devote your life to constant learning. Read everything, and learn everything. You should learn to take lessons from things that you didn't even know had anything to do with writing. Even the children's show on YouTube can give you inspiration if you view it from the proper angle. And remember, when you feel uncomfortable, and you will, all you're doing is moving from stage 2 to 3 in the learning cycle. You may also have noticed a certain similarity between the four stages of learning and the three-act structure of traditional Western storytelling. I don't think this is by coincidence. All stories are about growth. How do we grow but by learning? So it should stand to reason that your characters, just like you, experience their own stages of learning as they grow. I think the important thing to take away is that your characters aren't the only ones on a journey. You are on a journey too. In a very real way, you are the hero of your own story. The first act is analogous to the first stage of learning. The hero, you, are in your ordinary world and you think things are going great. You have no concept of your deficiencies as a writer and ignorance is bliss. But something happens. This is your second act and you're well into the rising action of your own story. You're awakened, and you suddenly realize your skills need serious leveling before you or your reader can take your writing seriously. You need a mentor to offer you the call to action and set you down the road of trials and the goal of literary mastery. 
Maybe I'm that mentor and this is your call. Maybe you've had other mentors and I'm just one stone along the path. Only you can tell. Now you're at the middle point of your story. In a way, you've attained your goal. You know how you're deficient and you're taking steps to grow. You were a passenger in the process, but now you've taken the wheel and are guiding your own education and destiny. You're still in over your head and in some ways you often feel like you're faking, but you are learning. In this act, you face the greatest antagonism one can face, yourself. Your own arrogance, ignorance, lack of experience, and naivety stand in your way. But you're at the pre-climax, and there's just one more push to mastery. Now you're in the third act. You've stared down your demons in the climax, and you're well into the denouement. You've learned your lessons, and you're now a knight of the word instead of a scribbling squire. In a way, you've returned home. You began in a state of comfort and bliss, but you've been transformed by your journey. You're again in a place of comfort, but not bliss. It's a state of calm that only those who've seen the rage of war can attest. A calm not of ignorance, but competence. A knowing that you can handle any challenge that comes your way, because you've handled every challenge that has. Now, all you need to do is repeat the process, and do it all over again. And again, and again. Delve into the sequels. Become the hero of your own story. Like I said, it's daunting, but you're not without help, and I've prepared a few tools to guide your journey. And we'll discuss some of those in the very next video of the series. In the next video, I'll give you some overlooked resources that every writer needs to have in their toolkit. Until next time, good writing and Calamus Gladio Fortior.